हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस साइड राहुल मगन हेयर इज अ चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ ट्रेजी कंसल्टिंग एल एल पी एंड दिस टाइम वी वुड बी कवरिंग अडियो ऑन एम्बेडिड डेरिवेटिव कॉलर्स आई नो दैट एम्बेडिड डेरिवेटिव इज वराइटी ऑफ काइंड एंड देर आर हंड्रेड ऑफ एम्बेडिड डेरिवेटिव विच वी हैव जनरली इंडियन आई टी कंपनीज आर मेजोरिटी बिग यूजर ऑफ एम्बेडिड डेरिवेटिव टू बी ऑनेस्ट बट बट एग्जैक्टली बट एग्जैक्टली वुड यू नो बिग यूजर्स ऑफ एम्बेडिड डेरिवेटिव एंड स्पेशली कॉलर्स बट एग्जैक्टली हेयर आई वॉन्टेड टू से दैट अनफॉर्चुनेटली एज पर बुकिश लैंग्वेज द डेरिवेटिव कैन ओनली बी ऑफ टू काइंड वन इज द पोर्ट एंड वन इज द कॉल बट वी नीड टू अप्रिशिएट दैट देर आर वराइटी ऑफ अदर काइंड ऑफ एम्बेडिड डेरिवेटिव ऑल्सो सो हेयर वी आर कवरिंग दैट विच इज कॉलर्स लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज द इश्यू आर is cs credit swiss the funding pattern they are raising is mtn which is medium term notes and suppose the notional amount which they are taking is euro 45 billion the tenure since it's a medium term note is taking as 5 years and suppose the funding which is happening funding which is happening is uribor plus 250 basis point and suppose the investor who is who is investing investor is say ocbc uh, say uh say the best bank in the us right take it city city us so the scene is like this cs is taking a funding of euro 45 billion at the rate which is uribor plus 250 basis point from city us right now the point is we know that what is happening to the european economy things are moving at a very faster pace although the negative news are more that european central bank is not is very reluctant to cut the rates sorry uh, is very reluctant to increase the rates they really not wish to cut the quantitative easing rather they wanted to keep it flat right so and uh, of course there are a lot of positive things which are happening in the europe if we exclude pre exit like uh, if article 50 will get invoked then the majority of the business will come to paris frankfurt luxembourg and others so there are a lot of positive news which is also happening so credit suisse is little concern right he is saying that uh, the rate might go up the rate might go down right the rate might go up the rate might go down so of course credit suisse is currently is in the negative news because there is a tax inquiry which is happening on the credit uh, on, on on the credit so is whereby he has been asked where he has been clear he has been charged to siphon off the he has been charged to siphon off the tax in more than 5 countries more than 5 countries so they wanted to play a range game the rate could be anywhere right so they are saying let's play a range game let us do do buy put and let us have something which is sell call right or uh, you know and they are saying that here cs would have a right which is known as uh, cs uh, cs would have a right to surrender bonds and here investor would have a right to surrender generally in this situation we have in between is market but there is a little catch here because this is embedded derivative callers there is a little catch here the catch is that of course this this in between is a market but here is something in technical language which is known as reflection point so what it would be like uh, you know they are saying here we have a right to surrender we have a right to to you know we have a right just like a you know here we have a right to surrender if the interest rate will go up so here they are saying the it is uribor uh, suppose uh, they are expecting that uh, 3 months uribor is trading at uh, say take an example 0.70% and they are saying that if the 3 months uribor will cross 
1.2% then they will surrender and here they have a right that investor will say I will surrender if Euribor you know uh, will cross say 2.5% but here there is a reflection the reflection is that here they are taking a in between which is say 1.75% which means that if Euribor would be greater than 0 0.70 so let me write there if Euribor would be greater than 0 0.70 but it is less than 1.2% and in between 1.2% to 1.75% right they have a right to surrender so they will exercise their put they will give their money and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, they will surrender their bonds because the interest rate is going high they are not in the will to be able to say of course the people who would be asking the question they must be thinking that if they will surrender their bonds if they pay the money and and of course the 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 you know it would be a settlement from where they will get uh, you know uh, from from where they will get the surplus funding that's something in which there is a assumption that credit suisse do not need any surplus funding so no surplus funding is required for the credit suisse and they would be they would be able to arrange it internally and here if if you know if Euribor is uh, is greater than 1.75% but it is lesser than in between in between 1.75 to 2.5% then investor will say I don't want to invest with credit suisse I wanted to uh, invest with uh, some some somebody else right so if you look at the normal callable in the normal portable bond the normal callable and the normal portable bond is something which is endless right take an example if you say a callable bond and if the, if the interest rate will fall then it's a continuous fall and if you say the normal portable the interest rate is rising it is continuously rising right but the point of contention here is that we will create a reflection point in between and that reflect, reflection point should be a part of an indenture so an investor should appreci appreciate that if an investor is not appreciating that that is their problem right so he should read the indenture carefully so that he knows that if the Euribor is greater than 1.25% but lesser than 1.75% it would be a turn of credit Swiss but if it is greater than 1.75% and if it is greater than 2.5% then it is my turn you might be asking a question that what would if Euribor will cross 2.5% that is a valid question and what would if Euribor is less than 0.75% uh, 0.7% if Euribor would be lesser than 0.70% which was at when they started this is the fate of Credit Suisse a benefit to Credit Suisse if Euribor will cross 2.5% suppose it will go to 4% right then in that sense it is a loss to investor so investor cannot do everything because the range which has been decided for an investor is 1.75% to 2.5% if it is greater than 2.5% that is a loss which investor has to face what he can do he can sell in, in, a, in a secondary market and he can get out of it this was the video which I want to tell you in which I wanted to tell you that uh, the embedded derivatives is of variety of kind of course and this is a beautiful embedded derivative which is interest rate embedded derivative and uh, unfortunately in the countries like India this is not getting used but in the countries like uh, US and Europe because Euribor is uh, is nothing but Europe uh, which is Euro interbank offer rate like you have LIBOR which is London interbank offer rate such kind of things are getting used there and hopefully you making a sense out of it in case you have any query you can come to us www.treasuryconsulting.in our mobile is 9899242978 our skype id is rahul5327 my email is rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in in case you have any training requirement you know that we are providing lot of kind of trainings you just visit our uh, website refer the training tab go to the pdf and download that and today we are launching another course which is fixed income advanced course and hopefully by end of this year our all 35 courses would be live thank you and have a wonderful time